Soon downtown San Diego will be overrun with superheroes in costumes when Comic-Con returns July 21st. But not all heroes wear capes. Some wear lab coats and work in hospitals and research facilities. And one such group is helping a Carlsbad girl fight cancer. And you can too by joining the Cancer Revengers. Forget the Marvel Universe, this is the Medical Universe. Cancer Revengers is a working group of about 60 of the brightest minds on the planet with regard to pandemoma and brain cancer. And one determined Carl's bad dad. I said, I'm in, but under one condition. I said, I need to brand you and name you what you really are to these children, superheroes. And he did just that, meet the Cancer Revengers, a group of real life doctors and medical researchers from around the world, all collaborating to save the life of Sean's seven year old daughter, Layla. I wanted her to actually be actively hitting one of these um, brain cancer cells. Professional cartoonist Neil Garvin turned Layla and her team of cancer fighters into comic book superheroes. I wanted to capture her spirit, you know, kind of give her like a voice through the, the action that she was really fighting back. And fight she has. Since we last visited Layla in the fall, she's had three brain surgeries, three rounds of chemo, and 33 rounds of proton radiation, only to get this news in June. This is not good. This is not good. There's multiple areas of the brain that have tumor. And Layla does not know that. Okay. And we are not telling her that. Layla's brain cancer is extremely rare, but so is the funding to study it. Only 4% of federal funding is devoted specifically to pediatric cancer. The Cancer Revengers see this artwork as a way to draw attention. We love to just keep rolling with it because it's a cool concept. The doctors loved it, so it'd be cool to see where it goes from there, especially if we could like really raise awareness. Recruiting pediatric patients for research is equally scarce, something Sean is now changing championing on social media and the response has been swift. We have currently have four, about 40 parents that are just wait, waiting uh, for orders on where to send their, their kids brain tissue so that they can all be studied in mass. Like all superheroes, they are working for the common good, hoping what's learned in Layla's case will help other kids with one serious side effect, empower the patients. I want the kids to see themselves in Layla, that they are, you know, they're because they're fighting too. We want to give them like the chance to kind of see their own struggle in the Cancer Avengers and, and what they're trying to do. And that is nothing short of an heroic effort to find cures for childhood cancers. Sean is counting on it and his own superpower. I plan to win. And, and that's a father's love. That's what it is. That's all it is. And that is pretty powerful. If you would like to help Sean and his family with the skyrocketing costs of treatment and travel for Layla, there is a GoFundMe link on our website. You'll also find a link to the Dana-Farber Institute and leading oncologist of the Cancer Revengers, Dr. Philbin, if you'd like to give and get behind their efforts. Plus, you can also learn more about the artwork of Neil Garvin, all of it for you there on Fox5SanDiego.com.